isn't dangerous. It'll go slowly. I can barely contain my euphoria. I just, I feel so excited. How do you feel about your in-laws going back to Australia? No, I want to <laughs> steal their passports so they won't go back. And we're off to see the progress on the, the bathroom cupboard. Okay. He's making the doors. Yeah, you... I hear lots of... Let's go, let's go. It's so warm. It's beautiful. Yeah. After the other day's rain, that means lots of grass to be cut. And the problem is we don't have any firewood. Yeah, so we need to go and chop some wood. There are several plants that are dead, so we can chop them down and use it for firewood. Mm -hmm. For the next... After, after. I have to finish my stenciling first. <laughs> yeah, that, that's tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. So, mm. andiamo, ready? andiamo. Ah, okay, okay. Io ti seguo. Okay, follow me. <laughs> oh, nice steps. Yeah. Hello. I still have to finish that. Buongiorno. Good morning. I hear someone cracking down there. I think it's your mother. Oh, she's working down there? I don't know. Why is she working down there? I don't know. Mommy? Yeah. Well, she's pruning them. <laughs> she's pruning the pink stars. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How's it Hello. going, Daddy? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you made any of the doors? Yeah, I've made all the doors. Oh, wow. I'm just uh, fitting them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. It looks beautiful. Mm. Wow. Oh, I love it with the grain going the same way as this. Yeah, it looks so yeah, neat, lovely. Good, good decision, yeah. Your, your, your decision. <laughs> no, no, and you did, you put also these, perfect. Yeah, yeah. The Amazing. Rings, the fit Perfectly. Now, uh, the change is on the right, so that we, yeah. that decision was definitely made. I think so. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Amore? Uh, were we saying this way or this way? Well, because the b the bath is here, so we're saying we might want more room, more light would come in from the right side, so, so they open. The hinges are this way. So the hinges are this side and the handles, knobs on this side, so it opens towards Let's the window. Let's do one and one. Ma no! <laughs> <laughs> the question is, so who's going to get the top shelf and who's going to have to crouch the, down? The, the, <laughs> the, you don't need to, to ask it, it's, we know the answer. Hinges on the left. Hinges on the left. Hinges on the left, knobs on the right. Right, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, but do you want to keep also the, the, the shampoos and stuff inside? Yes, why not? Because in that case... It's ah, not... yeah, you're right. So if we're in the bath, when we might need to open it like that. Ah, ah very good point. Ah, ah, ah. But would you keep the shampoos in there? Why not? There's um, that nice spot next to it. We're, always, we're also going to do the shelves if we yeah. have time. <laughs> oh, nice. It's also... <laughs> These are oranges and clementines that come from a man who drives up from Sicily every two weeks and he comes to the house to sell us fruit out of his van. And they're just incredible. I put I put more compost on the top and then we made a little the little or mummy made the little stone walls so that, that water doesn't drain out. These two are the same variety, maybe someone can tell us. I think in order for them to cross pollinate we need another variety I was reading. So perhaps we need a third cherry tree that's a different variety. No Amore, maybe it's important. Forse è per quello che l'altro non ha sopravvissuto. Ha un contro è sopravvivere, un contro è fare frutto. Sì, ma alla fine, anche se non fanno frutto, cioè sono sempre belli, no? Con i fiori.
Sì, però sì. ci sono le ciliegie in mezzo. No? Sì. <laughs> But because the reason we chose this spot is because over here is an incredible apricot tree. It's amazing that it's so big and heavy with fruit and then now it just doesn't even, it seems so small the tree, but in summer it's enormous. Yeah, they are quite close, see, I hope they won't, because that is one plant. See, ma vedi, cioè, that one's even close to the, the, the olive tree as well. Yeah, but between the two olive trees there's only mm. one plant. Sì, sì. These are closer, but... Sì, forse. Yeah, but as long as they have sun and they will yeah. have sun. Yeah, because I read that the cherry trees need eight hours of sun and here certainly they yeah, get they it. they get 12 or 14. Yeah, so. yeah. And they're quite protected from the wind. Relatively from the wind yeah. that comes from the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are the pigsties which are yet to renovate. Yeah, we will see what happens to the big side. Good morning, it is stencil day and I can barely contain my euphoria. I just, I feel so excited and to, to get to this point of a project and it's, and it's, it's kind of scary because you take, take the room in a direction, particularly with these stencils. So uh, I was up last night reading all of your comments. Well, I read 550, I got to 550 and then I just had to start because this paint, uh, it has to be painted on the next layer uh, within 48 hours. It's Saturday morning uh, and I was just so exhausted I couldn't start it last night. But I thank you for sharing your thoughts because I really did want uh, a lot of uh, feedback. I, I really was really undecided about between the mural and the different stencils. Thank you to those of you who had faith, confidence in my mural creating abilities. Because it's the two-part paint, I just thought I'm not going to be able to do it justice. Uh, because for a mural like that, you really need watercolors, and this is a, a waterproof paint, just so it can go on the tiles and be washed and everything. So I'm going to leave it also because some people wrote, perhaps it might overwhelm the space and it might be better on a bigger room with a high ceiling. And I agree with that. I thought about it. I thought, yeah, they're right. So huh, I'm going to go for the floral stencil. I. You might think I'm very whimsical and romantic. I, I tend to stay away from, from really blatant florals because it can sometimes feel it just a bit too, didn't want it to look too girly, but I did want it to feel very natural and fresh and bring in the garden from outside. So uh, I thought that I would go with the top border of the floral stencils. I'm going to have to just uh, cut them out at a certain point and try and work them all in together so that it looks like a cohesive line because the stencils aren't actually made to go on a 20 by 20 tile but I think that could add a little bit of well a little bit of a more natural flow and make it feel a little bit more uh, human because if it's just a repeated design sometimes it can feel a little bit like a digital uh, print and, and I wanted to feel a little bit more organic uh, and so I'm hoping this will work. I did notice that some people got confused and thought I was painting the whole ceiling uh, because it's got this beautiful arc, this room which I have to sand and uh, paint <laughs> but I thought I would keep that white just because it feels nice and airy when you when you look up and uh, and then I may not use that that dark green that uh, that I got as another stencil colour. I think it, it could just be subtle and fresh and simple with this creamy white and the background of the green. So let's begin and hope for the best. <laughs> so I've done stenciling so many times now I feel like this is all quite familiar. I have a variety of different brushes, my gloves, the uh, mask to protect me from the paint fumes, different stencils, a little roller, some masking tape, and some water and a sponge in case I make mistakes. I sort of want to get it, like I did last time, not too thick so that it kind of looks like it's worn away with time and not brand new. Oh, I don't know. Should I do the green? Well, I mean, I have to mix it up now. I might just do white and then 
I suppose I could always go over it in the green. Okay, shall we see how that looks? Ah. Ah. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you like it? I think it's lovely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't know, do you think it needs the green? I don't know. Maybe it's just fine like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. It's even more beautiful than I hoped it would be. Oh, do you know that moment in a project? And it actually, it happens to me when I, whether I'm renovating or, or cooking or, or doing my editing, where there's, there's one step that sets the whole tone and reassures you that you're on the right track and you're going to realize whatever vision you had in your head. And I, I feel like this, this first flower, this first rose is that for me. It's so gratifying because you work so hard to have all the pieces come together and hours and hours just hoping it's all going to work out. And, and now I know it is. I know I'm on the right track. It's, it's going to have exactly the feeling I wanted when you walk into a room because I think more than a, a colour or even a reference photo, for me, when you transform a room, it's, it's I have in my in my head, in my heart, this, this feeling of what I want people to feel when what I want myself to feel when I walk into a space and, and I know now that this is it's going to it's going to work. <laughs> because the stencils don't actually fit in with each other like a puzzle, so I'm sort of choosing individual leaves or branches or petals and trying to make them fit. Uh, but I'm running out of time, so... Beautiful. What do you think? Amazing. Do you like it? It's a beautiful Did you watch it? scene. What? Where are your parents? I want to do wood, wood delivery. Ah, uh, no, so. Where are you going to do this? Oh, we so, we so. Do you know what it is? Isn't it amazing? Yes, it's amazing. Bravissima. I've just done wood delivery at your parents. Please. Thank you, amore. We're safe from the frost. <laughs> Bravissimo. <laughs> stencils for, for the uh, 20 by 20 tile. I just did each little rose and each leaf and each frond sort of different, like separately. And uh, I think it's balanced. You know, when you know, when you just look at a composition, you think, yes, that's, that's right. Meanwhile, uh, Guido and my mother are outside uh, stacking firewood. <sighs> Another busy day. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. You, you you prefer it darker, Guido? Yeah, yeah, I do, rather than just... And uh, it's very... And, and you see more this effect here. Mm. The grain of the wood, yeah. Cool. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. No, più lungo. Più lungo? The right hand on down. Down? Così fa più Okay. Ah! Is that it? 
okay? Yeah, again. Oh, wow. Bravissimo. I'll cut you easier, easier logs. Yeah. Meglio chiaro. Looking for wood because the wood man that sells wood has the chain saw broken, so he can't sell it. So we are looking for wood for our stove, and this should be a dry, a dead oak tree there in the middle. So perhaps we should also say that this is a part of the farm, so yeah, pe yeah, yeah, this, people this, don't think we're going into no, the forest this, and just taking down. This land, obviously, we are not taking wood from somewhere. <laughs> Next episode on renovating a ruin. We installed the sink, finished the new shelves and door. I attempt to sand and paint the vaulted ceiling. <laughs> this whole bit can just. <gasps> oh, a little disaster with the floor, the plumbing, and the wrong varnish on the cabinet. And we even have a quick trip to the English countryside before showing you the final reveal of the bathroom makeover. Hope you will join me again next Friday. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you to my patrons. Alla prossima! We'll take a cup of kindness, yes.